guys. This is the IV um, checkoff. It has two parts. You're going to have the assessment part and the termination part. You do want to bring your um, fluids, your IV fluids, your IV tubing. You can bring um, some 4x4s four or 2x2s, two some clean gloves, and of course your essential skills um, packet as well. So when you first enter the room, we're going to have multiple stations set up for you to check your rate. So that's the first part of the assessment is you're verifying the order um, for the fluids and the rate. So what we'll do is we'll send you to a station, we'll have some fluids set up, you'll just go to that station and we'll tell you, you have to set your rate at usually we say 60, 80, 100 drops per minute. So you'll need your watch, okay, you'll find your roller clamp, you can move it up the way you need to, make sure everything's unclamped and then you'll just adjust the roller clamp and count um, and watch in the drips per minute. If it runs out of fluid, you'll need to replace the, the bag. You'll have your own to bring, um, and then you'll just leave that. We just kind of share, um, and then you'll be counting. I would, you know, count it first, 15, 30 seconds, see if you're on track, but before you actually say, hey, I'm ready, I would count it for the full minute, because you need to be within two drops of whatever we tell you the rate should be. And so you'll just count the drops, adjusting the roller clamp, um, just try to stay calm and count and then adjust your and then once you're ready You've got it set at 60 or 80 or 100 whatever we prescribe that would be your rate So you just say hey, I'm ready. Okay, so that's the first part of the assessment then you'll move over to um, The arm, okay, and at this point you're still continuing the assessment part So you checked your rate the next part is you're just assessing for patency So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on gloves you wouldn't necessarily have to but if you're gonna be touch them. Just go ahead and put my gloves on. All right, so for the patency, the patency just means that it's flowing, okay? So we would have a, an IV hook to it. And so you're saying it's flowing, it's dripping in, you know, nothing's, that's not stopped. You don't see any um, signs that it's not flowing. The next part is checking for complications. So your complications, you're going to be looking for redness. Is there any drainage? Is there infiltration, extravasation? Where is the vein red? Is there signs that it's not going where it should be going? So you're looking for all that to make sure that there's not any signs that it's not the way that it should be. So you assess that. And then the last piece is that you would just document your findings. So that's the first part. That's the assessment part. Then the next part is if you were coming in to discontinue an IV. And so the very first thing you'd want to do is stop your flow. So if you had a fluid going, you'd want to clamp it, turn it off, turn the pump off, whatever it is, so it doesn't drip everywhere when you take it out. So you want to make sure that you do that. Um, so then next you're going to want to have some kind of four by four or two by two. You don't actually have to remove this for this checkoff, but in real life, you would want to remove the tape. You're going to you know, gently pull it back applying traction, lifting up the transparent dressing, just pulling it all back away. And it may be a little bit painful, so you want to be gentle. And you can tape it on itself to kind of get it, you know, off and away. And so get the dressing all off. We'll have one sitting here just for pretend. Um, we're not going to take the this out of the mannequin over and over because you can see the arms kind of wearing down. Um, but we'll have a little IV catheter here for pretend. So of course explain to the patient what you're going to do. The whole time you're assessing for any kind of problems or anything like that. And then as you pull out, pull it out straight in line with the vein, assessing and applying pressure. You're looking at that catheter tip to make sure that it's intact. Apply pressure for two to three minutes for normal and then five to ten if they're on any kind of blood thinners or anything like that. Then apply your dressing. You can either just put a piece of tape on it or a band-aid if you have it, but you could just tape this little four by four on there until they quit bleeding. And then you would always want to document and put the patient's response to the procedure. That's it.